All right, so this is the instructional video for example two, um, MISC assembly or miscellaneous assembly. Uh, this is showing the pack and go capability inside of Solid Edge. You can either do this from the context of uh, your Windows Explorer, where you can open in Design Manager and then go to pack and go that way, or you can open it inside of uh, Solid Edge itself. It's going to be the Zoomex Juicer Assembly. Good lord. Alright, once you have your assembly open, simply go to the drop down in the Applications menu, go to Share, and Pack and Go. Uh, it's going to ask you if you wanted to save the changes to the document. Go ahead and say yes so it has all the latest updates. Of course, we haven't made any changes to this document. Then it's going to bring up your Pack and Go dialog. At this point, you can show that you have the option to include drawings and simulation results, <coughs> as well as uh, keep a flat structure or maintain your folder structure, as well as the way that you want to view it. If you want to view all of the parts in sequential order, or if you want to go to a bomb view, how you would see it inside of the actual uh, inside of the actual assembly. Uh, you also have the options to whether you want to just move this and uh, save it to a folder, or if you want to zip all of this up and save it all to a zip file. So just some uh, nice options there. Uh, you can execute a zip file if you'd like to, just to show it uh, being put together. But what we're really looking at is is the workflow to get here, and uh, and some of the the nuances. Now one thing to remember though is if you say include drawings it's not going to change any of this. Uh, hopefully they get that changed relatively soon. Uh, we've got some enhancement requests, some backlog items to uh, place, you know, make sure that you show these simulation results or these drawings. The only place that you will see that is when you get done and you get ready to zip all of this up. If we do the zip, it'll tell you how many uh, it'll tell you how many total files uh, that are going to be uh, packed up and, and moved so that's the only way that you can kinda look after what files were included which it is what it is um, but yeah alright that is uh, example two